Iga's Fiontech, the world's number one and the number one seed here in Rome, attempting to make her third Rome championship match. She's already won two titles. She's going for number three. Coco Goff played an amazing first set right up until that ninth service game where we saw Coco just run into frustration, ladies and gentlemen. She was up 40 love on serve and would end up getting broken and the pressure would start to mount. You could see it on Coco's face. I talked about how Coach Reba in the past, I felt he was that cheerleader that Coco needed to relax her in these tough situations. You can always see him fist pumping and saying, hey, you got it. Come on, it's okay. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, Coco, Facing another break point and Team Iga in the building. Jadsta, Poland, Poliska. I don't know what those words mean, but Iga Sviantek, a huge support system as Rome, as a two time champion. But listen, both of these ladies got cheers. This crowd got a treat today, guys. We saw the two most electrifying ladies in tennis put on a show. And I had talked about earlier how this match should have been first on the schedule, not behind the ATP match where it took a while for fans after that three hour match, after that break, to have to come back into the stadium. I just felt this match should have been first. And match point, Iga Sviantek prevails. She beats Coco Golf again. I thinking, you know, about the statistics or history. Um, so I think it's easier that way because um, it makes you play more relaxed, you know. Exactly. So Iga Fiontek was asked, you know, is she looking forward to another championship? She said, look, she just wants to play relaxed and focus on the task at hand because it's less pressure, right? If you if you think to the future and look for the future, it literally makes you anxious. Just live in the moment and relax. And I think that's good advice from Iga Fiontek. The final statistics as Iga Fiontek defeats Coco for the 10th time. Ouch. One double fall from Iga, four from Coco. She did improve on the double faults. Even though she only got 54% of her first serves in Coco, that is, I did feel for a lot of those serves she did get in, they were very big serves that Iga had trouble returning. Coco won 64% of the first serves. She needed to at least hit her average of 70%. And at times we've seen Coco hit the mid 70 percentile range. She lost 63 percent of the second serve as Iga stepped up and really pressured Coco. Amazing. Iga, when have we seen Iga play so aggressive? 26 winners to 18. Well, look at the unforced errors. I think Coco played a pretty, pretty solid match. She reduced her double faults. She reduced the unforced errors. The key is to break points. Coco wins 50% of her return games. She didn't have the additional break points that normally she gets to break opponents and close out. Iga coming from the fourth round, Kerber in straight sets, Keys in straight sets. Coco loses but covers the spread. The pick wins. You got to take the free money, guys. And Iga Sviantek, will she take on Sabalenka or Danielle Collins? Two ladies she owns ahead against both. It's going to be really tough to stop the Polish powerhouse. Tennis in a minute. We'll